Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we'll be reviewing the process and materials that I use to build this planter bench combo. So sit back, relax, and consider staying until the end of the video so you don't miss the night show. The first step is to select the location of the planter, which will be built along this area with the gray weed control fabric. But before that, let's do some shopping. You'll need a bag of concrete, which secures the posts for the bench, an eight inch building form to contain the concrete, two of these boards, which are used to frame the front panels, seven and a half of these, used for the front and side panels of the planter. This board is used to support the post for the bench. And this is used as the bench itself. This is used to secure the planter to the adjacent wall. Screws to help build the planter. Wood filler for the knots and cracks in the wood. Pre-stain conditioner which prepares the wood for staining. The actual stain which is used to stain and color the wood. Weed control fabric which lines the soil in the planter to prevent weeds from growing. And now we'll head back and start working on this project. So here we're prepping the foundation of the planter to receive the building forms. Now I've inserted the forms and just placing some dirt inside to try to level it out. Now we're aligning the first 2x4 for its preferred placement. Using the 1 and 3 8 inch board to frame the front panel. Just adding on the 2x4s and making sure that they're level and flush with each other. Inserting the posts for the bench. Placing the first board for the bench. When this project was being built, the 2x10x12 board was not available because of a wood shortage due to the pandemic. So I had to use two different boards to complete the bench. So this was the first of two pieces of wood that was used for the bench up on top of the planter. Now we're just adding on the side pieces of the two by fours. Trying to level the planter. And here's a side view of the bench post. Here I am starting to mix the concrete. overheating. Now I'm placing the concrete into the concrete forms. Concrete has been placed and allowing it to dry and cure.
Now we're just uh, drilling and securing the wood panels. Here we're going to be using the wood filler to fill in all the knots and cracks of the wood. Daughter is helping me fill those out. Once all of the imperfections have been filled and the appropriate time given for the product to dry, we'll go ahead and sand down the planter. We're sanding this down to make sure that all of the wood filler is smooth and level with the board. And if possible, please leave a comment below letting me know what you think about this project. This board was used as support for the planter. It was installed using these concrete anchors so that the planter does not move forward when people are sitting on it since it's secured to the wall. I'm also gonna go ahead and sand down this water fountain and change the color of the stain to match the color of the planters. Once I finished priming the inside of the planter, I place a weed control fabric on the bottom to prevent weeds from coming up from underneath. And then, I had to move this large amount of dirt that I acquired from my yard. So we're just filling up the planter. And then we'll go ahead and place another layer of the weed control fabric on top of that dirt. And now I'm Conditioning the wood with a pre-stain conditioner. Starting the first coat of stain after conditioning the wood. If you're enjoying this video or find it useful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. At this point, my wife and I are finishing up staining the fountain in one of the planters. A sound activated LED strip was clamped along the length of the planters as shown. Every external screw hole was pre-drilled and covered with wood filler as seen here. Here we have the planters completed and about a little bit over a year has passed at this point. The planters were also varnished, which protects the wood from water and other elements. As promised, the next scene will display the planter and the sound activated LEDs that I ran along it. Pulsing to the sound of music, welcome to the night show. Never change